she's free. She's and, free to do and, whatever she wants to do, to be wherever she wants to be. The public feud between Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro reached a dramatic climax with Owens' departure from the Daily Wire. Their clash, primarily over differing views on the Israel-Gaza conflict, exposed significant ideological divisions within the conservative movement. Owens criticized Israel's military actions in Gaza, labeling them as genocidal and highlighting the suffering of Palestinian civilians, including Christians. Shapiro, a steadfast supporter of Israel, condemned her remarks as disgraceful and suggested she should leave the company if her views were incompatible with its stance. Join Facts First as we take a closer look at this feud. Candace's Rise Candace Owens has emerged as a prominent conservative figure through her vocal support for Donald Trump and her critique of liberal ideologies, particularly within the African-American community. Born April 29, 1989, in Stamford, Connecticut, Owens initially pursued a career in journalism at the University of Rhode Island, but left before completing her degree. Her early professional endeavors included working for Vogue magazine and a private equity firm, as well as launching a lifestyle website called Degree 180, which received criticism for its left-leaning content. Owens gained national attention in 2016 with the controversial launch of SocialAutopsy.com, a website aimed at exposing online bullies by tracking their digital footprints. The project faced backlash from both conservatives and progressives for its potential to violate privacy and encourage doxing. Despite this, Owens' allegations of harassment from liberals garnered support from right-wing figures, leading to her shift towards conservative activism. By 2017, she had fully embraced conservative principles and became the communications director for Turning Point USA, a student organization promoting conservative values on college campuses. She also launched the Blexit movement, encouraging African Americans to leave the Democratic Party, which she referred to as a plantation that kept its supporters as quote-unquote slaves. Her provocative statements and high-profile endorsements, including praise from Kanye West and appearances on Fox News, further elevated her status within conservative circles. In 2019, she married George Farmer, a British conservative and son of a peer in the House of Lords, in a wedding held at Trump Winery. Her career continued to flourish with the release of her book, Blackout, How Black America Can Make Its Second Escape from the Democrat Plantation, where she criticized the Democratic Party and promoted conservative solutions for the African-American community. Her rhetoric has often sparked controversy. She's referred to the Black Lives Matter movement as, quote, whiny toddlers pretending to be oppressed and dismissed concerns about white supremacy and the KKK. Her comments on various social issues, such as opposing gun control, questioning the validity of climate change, and criticizing the Me Too movement as a political witch hunt, have made her a polarizing figure. Candace and Ben Shapiro the Israel-Gaza conflict has starkly highlighted the ideological rift between Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro, reflecting broader divides within the right-wing political landscape. Ben, a staunch supporter of Israel, has defended the country's military actions against Hamas, viewing them as necessary for Israel's security and survival. In contrast, Candace Owens has condemned these actions, labeling them as genocide, and has been vocal about the plight of Palestinian Christians and civilians caught in the crossfire. Shapiro has been unequivocal in his criticism of Owens' stance. During a public event in November, he called her remarks disgraceful and suggested she should leave the Daily Wire if she felt morally compromised by its pro-Israel stance. Quote, Candace, if you feel that taking money from the Daily Wire somehow comes between you and God, by all means quit, he tweeted in mid-November, further emphasizing the deep-seated tension between their views. Owens, for her part, has grounded her critiques in biblical references and has accused Israel of committing atrocities against innocent civilians. She's drawn parallels between the current situation in Gaza and historical instances of ethnic violence, a comparison that has sparked significant controversy. Owens' comments have been criticized not only by Shapiro, but also by other conservative figures and institutions who have accused her of veering into anti-Semitic rhetoric. Leaving the Daily Wire Candace Owens' departure from The Daily Wire has been a big event in conservative media, marked by months of increasing tension and public disagreements with Shapiro. Owens has been vocal in her criticism of Israel's military actions, 
labeling them as genocidal and drawing attention to the plight of Palestinian civilians, including Christians. In one of her tweets, she remarked, quote, Respectfully, if you think it's anti-Semitism to notice that innocent Christians were killed in an IDF bombing, then you need to log off of the internet and have your brain examined. Shapiro, a strong advocate for Israel, publicly condemned Owens' comments, calling them disgraceful and suggesting that she leave. The feud culminated with the Daily Wire's CEO, Jeremy Boring, announcing on social media that Owens and the company had, quote, ended their relationship. Owens confirmed this with a post on X, saying, quote, The rumors are true. I am finally free. The split is not just about differing views on Israel, but also reflects broader issues within the conservative movement regarding free speech and ideological purity. Owens has often been a polarizing figure, making controversial statements that have sparked significant backlash. For instance, her defense of Kanye West's anti-Semitic comments and her contentious remarks about Adolf Hitler drew widespread criticism and highlighted her tendency to court controversy. For his part, Shapiro talked to Megyn Kelly about the difference between being banned from a platform like Twitter or YouTube versus being fired from a um, publisher. Publishers, publishers obviously have to decide what sort of things they wish to pay for the publication of. And uh, and when it comes to, you know, you know hosts and, and publishers, you know, parting ways, obviously there will be a non-meeting of the minds. That's pretty much all I can say on that. Divide in the party. The divide between Candace and Ben regarding the Israel-Gaza conflict mirrors a broader split within American right-wing politics. The conflict has forced many conservative commentators and politicians to take clear stances, often revealing deep-seated differences in ideology and political preferences. Candace has emphasized the humanitarian toll on Palestinian civilians. Shapiro and other traditional conservatives see support for Israel as a fundamental part of their political identity whereas Owens and some other right-wing figures have begun to adopt a more critical stance. The broader conservative landscape is similarly divided. According to a Pew Research Center survey, Republicans are generally more supportive of providing military aid to Israel than Democrats, though there is significant variation within the party. Younger Republicans, in particular, are more likely to question U.S. involvement in the conflict and oppose military aid, reflecting a growing isolationist sentiment among the younger generation of conservatives. Candace's Many Feuds Candace Owens has been at the center of numerous controversies and feuds throughout her career. One of her earliest and most controversial moments came in 2018 when she remarked that Adolf Hitler would have been, quote, fine if his ambitions had remained within Germany, a comment that was widely condemned. She also defended Kanye West's anti-Semitic tweet in 2022, saying it wasn't anti-Semitic despite widespread backlash and West's subsequent stream of anti-Semitic comments. And that's when I lost respect for Jay-Z and it is what made me gain more respect for Kanye because he is willing to say stuff that makes him unfavorable in Hollywood. Her contentious statements continued with the feud with Ben Shapiro over the Israel-Hamas conflict. She also clashed with Black Lives Matter activists calling the movement whiny toddlers pretending to be oppressed. She's also engaged in a public spat with rapper Cardi B, whom she referred to as dumb and illiterate, leading to a heated exchange on social media. Owens has also faced a backlash for her comments on social issues. She questioned the legitimacy of Colin Kaepernick's and Sean King's racial identities and dismissed the exoneration of the Central Park Five, insisting they were not innocent despite their wrongful convictions being overturned. She's also made inflammatory remarks about Baltimore, falsely claiming that the city leads in rape rates, which propagated harmful stereotypes about black men. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Candace's career will be better in the long run, having split from the Daily Wire, or was it a big step back? Let us know in the comments section below.